Alrighty. We are. B are. File lock up behind you. Thank you. Let's say Yoka. Let's take Max with us. He'll have some insightful things to say, I'm sure. Alley-oop. I've kept myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Let's see. Forget the chemicals for a second. The colony is on the verge of collapse. What? Oh, yes. Well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working labs can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Uh, it, get wor uh, it gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. on the brink of total collapse and the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself i always knew halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse but i never imagined we were already there the board made this crisis and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us that's not a plan that's a goddamn escape clause that makes two things we don't have time and chemicals to revive the other settlers None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Uh, found your chemicals in the Ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Mm -hmm. uh, I put them out of their misery. Here's your canister of chemicals, by the way. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Mm, science. Uh, the board's trying to mitigate damage to human tissue during the revival process. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Uh, the board scientists sounded optimistic. Yes, I bet they did. The board scientists are more worried about pleasing their superiors than making real advancements. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Hmm. I mean, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of on three right now, you know. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing uh, about this particular colony that 
I'm particularly attached to. Uh, but, uh... You know what? We are going to go with that one. This colony's a mess. I'll be glad to put it behind me as soon as I get a chance. Uh, there's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Uh, the hope's probably damaged. We'll have to route power from the unreliable. And that's going to work, without killing us in the process. I thought intrasystem micro-jumps were prohibited for a reason. Yes, yes, there's always a risk of a catastrophic collision between the Hope and, say, Terra 2, in theory. But you'll be fine, provided your calculations are correct. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Got some questions. Certainly. How can I help? Uh, should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Uh, just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, people aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2? Positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Huh. Uh, no more questions. I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Let's, let's go with two real quick. I wanted to talk to you about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? Um, yeah, I was going to say, I'm guessing it's just all this stuff. Okay. 
So, sneak onto a lost colony ship and skip it across the system. What could go wrong? I won't wish you luck on the hope. Can't rely on luck. Rigorous calculations and sound logic. That's the ticket. What's on your mind? The adjutant asked me to plant a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. Can't tell if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Sarcasm, the last refuge of the witless. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. Uh, you sure you're okay with this? The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Okay. That one. Ascend corrupted tracking signal. No status weak. Board surveillance protocol failed. Signal fidelity has been compromised. This terminal will attempt to establish a new co connection every cycle. Okay. Level 28? Um... Okay, we are working on... Lock picking. We're working on lies. Put five points in lies. Two points in engineering, three points in lock picking. All right, I've got another back. Um, probably go with this. You know, since I'm probably going to be swinging a hammer for the rest of this game. Probably. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Oh uh, yeah. Four more lines of dialogue. Let's hear it. You watching the Aetherwaves last night? I don't want to ruin the surprise. Let's just say it involved a whole mess of tossball players and the biggest Manta Queen I ever saw. Oh gosh, I wish you'd waited for me. I wanted to see that too. Hey, boss. I've been thinking. Well, keep thinking. I can't believe I got my own bunk. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. Mm -hmm. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. I don't mind uh, working with uh, Phineas 
At least for a first playthrough. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. How do I know this isn't a trap? Because I'm not in the business of arresting my own allies. You have my word. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's go. All right, let's do a hard save. It's only been 20 minutes. No marking yet. Welcome back, Captain. All right, I'll... How can I be of assistance? I'll talk to you for a little bit. How about some entertainment? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. Why was the chemist sad? Because all her beakers are gone. Play my favorite song? Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. That's enough for now. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. Tell me about Captain Hawthorne. I require a captain to pilot the ship. Without an identified captain or crew, I serve no purpose. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. No longer interested. Let's go to the ground breaker. On Terra 2, long distance. On Terra 2. The ground breaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Yeah, that's right. Get the step. Buckle. Hey, that pad down there, with the lights off? Right. Let me just see if there would be any, you know, dialogue or anything like that. All right, let's see this blow up in our faces. I did exactly what you wanted. I hope, hope you're good with that. Because if you're not good with that, I'm gonna have a problem. Is it done? Uh, it's done. Chartrand is, Chartrand's dead. Well, well. Looks like someone's due for a promotion. How does Vice President of Aggressive Acquisitions sound to you, Contractor? Fits me like a glove. You've certainly earned it, my blood-soaked rising star. Catherine heard I was taking you on full-time and sent along a present of her own. I've had it delivered to your ship. From now on, the board will think twice before fucking with Lilia Hagen, savior of humanity. Uh, a bit of pleasure working with you, Miss Lilia. 
Be sure to mention that in your travels. We could use the free advertising. Hey, we don't work for exposure. Shouldn't be a problem. I have quite a bit of experience spreading the word. Well, if there's nothing else, I need to review some applications, seeing as I just lost my best contractor. Know anything about the assault cruiser Cornelius Vanderbilt? Not as much as I'd like. The board dispatched it to Earth on a resupply mission, I think. Why? Dr. Char uh, Chartrand sent a research query via the cruiser and never heard back. Interesting. It's possible the board wanted the cruiser to disregard ancillary tasks. But to what end? I'll have someone look into it. But for the moment, we're pissing in the wind and shooting in the dark. Considering how you get around, you'll probably find answers before I do. Fun. And, uh, I wasn't as uh, amazing or interesting as I was hoping it would be. Not that it needed to be amazing or interesting or anything like that, but, you know, maybe another quest or something, you know, I don't know. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? What did I get? That? No? Sublight? Given to you by Sublight Salvage and Shipping for being Employee of the Month. I have a hard time believing that that's what I got. This. Welcome to Sublight, my dearest smaller pain in the butt. Salutations and congratulations. I've officially been informed from my dearest, larger pain in the butt, that you are now the Vice President of Aggressive Acquisitions. It might be a department of one, but trust me, it ain't easy. Uh, it ain't an easy title to hold on to. So good luck, and uh, do know that on behalf of all of Sublight, we are most appreciative uh, for your loyal support and backing. Remember, we are not merely a money-making institution. We are a family. You have my personal commendation as well for dealing with my CNP problem. Sincerely yours, Catherine. Okay. Well, anything else? I can't click on the little flowers. Uh, all right. Letting us continue. Uh, I can go to the Hope. I see. All right, let me, let me find out what's on Terra 2. That's Scylla. Long distance. Uh, mm, I feel like that's dangerous to go visit her right now. also does feel like a trap even though I lost reputation for asking that huh interesting looks like uh, everybody likes us except for Auntie Cleo call me now and let Miss Cleo answer your questions Okay, um... Let 
I don't like the idea of doing this quest first, but I also feel like once I do this quest, this quest won't go very well, I suppose. It, it still feels like a trap to me, but we'll do this quest first. Against my better judgment. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Hmm. I half expected Felix to be right there. Uh, who will join me now? Let's see. So Max and Nyoka have their quest done so it's just banter at this point that i would get from them and that's basically what i want from my second party member and i the only reason i want sam is for his combat capabilities but right now i'm not hurting for combat so I think I'm going to keep Max. So, sneak onto a lost colony ship and skip it across the system? What could go wrong? Indeed. Hey, could probably do a little bit of tinkering. What level are we? 28? This is pricey. Um, I don't know who's wielding that. That's also pricey. Oh yeah, that's... Taking a lot of beats. Yeah, we wanna... Definitely wanna do this one. Oh, maybe... Maybe it's only... Science weapons where it's capped. That's, that might be it. Uh, what's the other science weapons? There was a... Shrink Ray. I don't remember what the other one was. Rumor has it someone's pulling doubles until the retirement district is uh, repaired. So what if all those MSI suits made it on Monarch this whole time? I could do it. Easy. You try to take my weapons, I will take your lives. Not so fast. All right, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. Rumor has it someone's pulling doubles until the retirement district is uh, repaired. Smell some junk. Buy some shunts. Whatever those things were. buy some ammo. Always good to have a little bit more ammo. Oh. This is gonna be fun. Right, you two? Oh, you guys got caustic size. Wait. Your office is up here? 
Hmm. How may I be of assistance? I don't have enough to break this, right? Alrighty. I admit part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Tell me why you wanted to see me. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. The powerful make the mistakes, and the powerless are left paying the price, as it has always been. Tell me, Adjutant, have you anything to offer beyond the usual false platitudes? I'm offering decisive action, Vicar de Soto. I can no longer depend on lazy, weak-willed bureaucrats to help me rescue Halcyon. I need someone with a backbone, someone like your captain. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhel, but I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more and nothing less. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. We need to talk about this lifetime employment program. I'll answer however I can. Uh, you honestly don't believe all this lifetime employment nonsense, do you? The lifetime employment program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. The program is logical, it's reasonable, it's merciful, and most importantly, it will work. Saw the presentation. Rockwell wants to sacrifice the colony to save Byzantium. Byzantium is the beating heart of our colony. And as long as Byzantium survives, Halcyon may one day recover from the collapse. We must protect this city at any cost. Help me execute the lifetime employment program and you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. Hmm. How long do we have? We've already crossed the point of no return. The collapse has already begun. You must have noticed the signs in Emerald Vale. Malnutrition, disease, high mortality rates. This is a permanent famine, Captain. We've done all we can to curb their hunger. Very soon, people are going to realize they're starving. A famine is a problem of logistics as well as marketing. Your workers must remain productive on as little food as possible, and they must always believe that food is plentiful. Uh, that's what that research in Roseway was all about. Before you interfered in Roseway, Dr. Anton Crane was on the verge of developing a powerful appetite suppressant. It would have made his career. The solution is a temporary one. Before long, our workers are going to feel the effects of starvation. The lifetime employment program is our only viable option. Uh, what does any of this have to do with me? When you turned Phineas Wells over to me, I knew I could rely on you. You've demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment. 
and you deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. Not a fan of the bureaucracy, Sophia? Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign before I can make one decision? I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. What's your take on all this? When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked. Even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. That's a pretty good argument for getting rid of the board entirely. I admit, I occasionally fantasize about making an executive decision without having some tedious committee questioning my every move. Do you have any idea how much paperwork is involved in ordering someone's execution through the usual channels? It's positively maddening. More questions. Tell me why you wanted to see me. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. I will be frank. Edgewater was a lost cause. I never expected the settlement to survive another year. But then... You came along. I don't know how you managed to convince a faction of disloyal workers to return to their posts. In fact, Edgewater is more productive than ever before. Every worker in Edgewater will be expedited into our lifetime employment program. Well done, Captain. That town owes you an enormous debt. Uh, expedited into the program? What do you mean by that? Edgewater's workers have proven themselves valuable. When the time comes to place our most loyal workers in suspended animation, they're going to be the first in line. You should be proud of yourself, Captain. You're on the verge of making history. There's just one last job I need you to do for me. I've made arrangements for you to journey to the Hope. We will board your former colony ship, reactivate its navigation systems, and skip the colony ship into orbit around Tartarus. Once the Hope is in position, we will have everything we need to begin healing the colony. Okay, so I was right that... Um, that if I did Phineas's quest first, it would screw up this quest. Skipping the hope across col uh, the colony sounds incredibly dangerous. You've proven yourself more than capable. I don't know if there's anyone better suited to this mission than you. Are you insane? One miscalculation and we'll skip the hope right into the sun. Give yourself some credit, Captain. You've come this far without dying in some senseless accident. Clearly the architect has a plan for you. What's so important about the Hope? Technology, Captain. The same technology that allowed you and your fellow colonists to make the journey from Earth to Halcyon. Under the Lifetime Employment Program, every suitable worker in Halcyon will be placed in suspended animation. The Hope is the perfect storage facility for the colony's workers. Every suitable worker. Uh, what about the people on the Hope? I won't lie to you. We're going to have to dispose of some of the Hope settlers in order to make room for Halcyon's rotating workforce. But try to understand. Many of your fellow settlers are beyond saving. They've been frozen for far too long, and the revival process would be lethal. Why Tartarus? Convenience. The Hope is a massive ship and we'll need to make use of it. Our facilities in Tartarus will benefit from having the ship within orbit. How do you expect me to do this? 
The Hope has been out of commission for years. You'll need to connect your own ship to the Hope's auxiliary power supply. Then make your way to the Hope's bridge. Your ship's computer will activate the Hope's skip drive and bring you into orbit around Tartarus. I wonder if they'll let me uh, do two birds with one stone. Skip to Phineas's lab, revive as many people as possible, and then skip it over to Tartarus and have Akande do the lifetime employment program. All right, I'll do it. I have the highest faith in your abilities, Captain. You and I are going to save Halcyon together. Can we talk? Hmm. Can we talk? Let's go talk out here. Away from prying eye. No listening, everybody. So we're really gonna do this? I've seen lots of crazy, Captain, but Phineas is in a class of his own. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Teratu's orbit right under the board's nose? Uh, not really. Okay, just checking. I think this whole plan's insane, but it'll make a good story, you know, if we survive. Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony, but what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? Interesting. Um, I think two aligns with my crazy plan of Trying to play both sides here, so the people of Halcyon deserve a chance. So do the colonists on the Hope. Coming from anyone else, that would sound like a line from one of those Odeon Pictures movies. But I think you really mean it. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they going to pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just going to leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? We won't know until we make it happen. Well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Anything else? You, you talk to me. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Oh, that should be good. Hey, Max. I got a real problem with this. Yes? You really think we all have a purpose? That everything happens for a reason? I used to think that. But not anymore. Then, wait, why do you sound so calm? Aren't you getting annoyed? Not in the least. But I do apologize, Dr. Finhill. It sounds like I have annoyed you. Fine. Be that way. Whoops. Okay, let's do a hard save. We might uh, save on two separate slots. This could potentially be end of gamey. Potentially. Uh, let's see. Wait, I still have a, a quest. Long distance. Oh, speak with Percival. Whoops. Dun, 
Who the suckle foo is, Percival? Is it you? Yes, it is. Adjutant Akande has instructed me to reward you for information leading to the arrest of Phineas Wells. Please allow me to extend my felicitations on a job well done. Thank you, Percival. I appreciate it. Quite so, sir. Okay. Now we can get out of here. Oh. Okay, so they just combined it here. Interesting. Interesting. Actually, a poor plan. Hey, extra epic otter. What's the best thing that happened to you today in the... Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. In the, uh... Probably less than an hour that you've been awake. Alright. To the hope! We have arrived at the hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. What's going to happen if I skip the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too, Or the Sun. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's see. So we could put lie, lock pick. Why don't we go to here, to here, five there. And hmm. You know, I get the feeling that um, engineering is probably going to be very useful for this place. So we'll put that extra point in engineering. Should I bring Parvati with me, knowing that engineering is probably going to... I mean, we're at 91. What are the chances that we need 100 or 95? 